I was welcomed warmly when I traveled to Sheridan for week nine's Taste of the Town. We're here inside the Sheridan concession stand with head of the concessions, Nancy Fox. Nancy, talk to me a little bit about who runs this stand. The athletic boosters for the high school, middle school. All right, and uh, I understand you have a few unique dishes for me to try here. We um, we're gonna pull out the first one right off the bat. And uh, I was just salivating <laughs> looking at this one. It is a ribeye steak sandwich with cheese. Uh, how, what goes into preparing this? We, our meat shop freezes them on a Monday. They slice them thin and we grill them frozen and uh, it's probably about 10 minutes and they're done. So we're talking five days worth of preparation to get this ribeye sandwich. Well, I'm gonna give it a try if you'd hold the mic. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I'm humbled by that. That was excellent. My social acceptability was plummeting quickly, but I realized some of our nation's greatest leaders aren't perfect social beings either. George W. Bush mispronounces words, Joe Wilson interrupts speeches, Hillary Clinton wears pantsuits, and I eat absurd amounts of food. Our second dish now will be a shredded chicken sandwich. Shredded chicken sandwich. It's canned chicken, cream of chicken, a few crackers and it cooks from two in the afternoon until now which is about six o'clock but uh, I, I understand this is almost a conflict of interest because you actually play a big part in making them I do I help make them on um, Friday afternoons well well here's your big moment okay I'll tell you what that's smooth from start to finish. The homemade shredded chicken melted in my mouth. If only I could get it to melt in my stomach. Dish number three. We got, this isn't loaded nachos, I understand. It's nachos just, with meat. Nachos with meat. Now just tell me a little bit, because everywhere you go you have the peppers and the salsa. And it's actually Sloppy Joe and it's sweet, so you'll see why we don't have the peppers on it. Just a little sweeter. All right, so a little, a little change on the normal uh, Mexican style food. Right. Sweet. Try to get some uh, meat in there. <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, <laughs> that's very sweet. Sporting the always fashionable nacho cheese goatee, I exterminated the nachos. In doing so, I had an epiphany. My brain thinks my stomach is a black hole. My stomach thinks my brain is an idiot. I was given a ration of popcorn by the ladies and pecked at it as if I were a Burmese peacock. Nancy declared me welterweight champion of the concession stand and I packed my bags for a return to Federal Hawking. Okay, we're back with our friend Jennifer at Federal Hawking. They invited us back for week nine for a special treat. Tell me what we have coming. We have some homemade chili that we are selling. Okay, I'm gonna bring that in here and uh, it's obviously in a Wendy's cup, but like you said, homemade. homemade. I believe uh, whoever made this started making this on Wednesday yeah. and it's there's an assortment of beans in it. Yes, we've got, there's probably six different kinds of beans in this. We've got navy and kidney and pinto and um, hot, spicy chili beans, that sort of thing. We also have, of course, the typical chili seasoning, hamburger, tomato juice. Is this uh, is this a uh, senior week? Yes, tonight is senior night. So that's this is special for senior night, and I'm gonna try it right now. Uh, I mean, obviously good. <laughs> and, th and, and thank you for inviting us back, really. This is excellent. Anytime, anytime. The chili had every bean short of Mr. Bean. I nonchalantly consumed it while shooting the breeze with my new Fed Hawk friends. I'd say that was another outstanding taste of the town.